Hi all. So let, let us discuss today about the groups of the food items we have to take and we have to avoid if you have any inflammatory condition. So most of you used to complain. My mommy have thyroid, so definitely I will be having thyroid. My daddy have diabetes, so definitely I will be having diabetes. So why this disease is happening to you? Have you ever thought? Yeah, it is genetic, but it's not only about the genetic. It is about the diet style, the lifestyle, the food style pattern which you are following from the time you are born to a particular period until you realize that uh, there is something wrong in my diet and food style. Let me change it. Yeah. So without bringing the changes in diet and the lifestyle, definitely no medicine on the earth is going to work on you. So here what we have to focus. If your family is taking the food at night 10.30 p.m., definitely you will also be having the same, you will be following the same process only. So if you are following the same process, what is going to happen? Definitely you will be having this hormonal issues, PCOD, obesity, etc. So where we have to work and what all food items is healthier for you and what all food items is not healthier for you. So regarding this, today we will be discussing. So next another main thing is that many of them used to tell, uh, my reports are normal. Doctor told me my reports are normal and he had prescribed me some analgesics and some supplements. So where, even if I am on that, I am not feeling healthy. So here what is happening? Here also definitely you have to bring change on your diet and lifestyle. And next main thing is that when you go and visit the Ayurvedic physician, they will be focusing on certain points. First main thing is regarding your appetite. So when we ask someone, how is your appetite? Let me tell you a few of the answers what some of the patients used to tell me. It is time to take the food. So I will definitely take food. I take food when I am bored. I can only take food when all my jobs are done. I will not waste the food because my family is wasting the food. Oh my God, do you know doctor? This food and all it is costing too much. And these guys are not even eating this food. So let me finish that food. So do you belong in any of these categories? Dears, it is not the way you have to take your food. According to Ayurveda, it is called Samadosha Sama Nishta Samadadu Malakriya Prasanna Atma Indriya Manaha Swastha Etya I will explain to you. Samadosha. Samadosha means there are three doshas. They are Vada, Pitta and Kapha. So, for you, for your understanding point of view, let me split it into small things. Okay. So, all the movements of our body is done by Vada. Each and every movement of our body. Okay. So if these moments are working in the normal way, definitely your vada is working perfectly. And how about the pitta? Pitta is regarding the digestion, absorption and metabolism and the hormone secretions etc. So if this process is working properly, your pitta is in the correct way. And how about the kaba? Kaba in excess, if it is in your body, definitely you are going to develop many respiratory tract infections, cold, sinusitis etc. So, when these three are in the balanced way, you are told as a healthy person. Not like this, I am coming. Samadosha, Samaknishcha. So what is the Samakni? So I have told you some of the things, isn't it? Our patients used to tell. It is not that Samakni. Samakni means you are having proper appetite in morning, afternoon and evening. And you are taking food according to your appetite. Okay. So that is some marketing. That is proper digestion, proper absorption. Everything is going on perfectly. Samadosha, sama nishcha, and samadadu. So what are samadadu? There are seven dadus in the body, and I'm so sure many of them will be always be checking for why the hair loss is happening to your body after an age particularly. Okay. So after an age, hair fall is happening because. Rasam, rectum, mamsam, medal, sasti, majja, shukram are the seven main essential components in our body. Among these, the asti or the bond dadu is not getting sufficient nutrition. If it is not getting sufficient nutrition, what is happening? Hair loss will be happening. Okay. So, samadosha, samadosha, samadadu, malakriya. So, what is this malam? Malam means 
you have to do your evacuation of the motion and the urine at the proper time so if you are a person who are passing your motion at the early hours then you are a healthy person you can be considered as a healthy person it is not like that i will pass motion only on 2 to 3 days once or i will be passing motion in the afternoon or the evening timings definitely no okay samadosha samagnishya samadadu malakriya prasanna atma indriya manaha so what is the importance of the mind with the body many of them used to ask me psychology and all it is a placebo effect some of them used to argue with the ayurvedic doctors but a learned scholar will never argue because any food if you are taking under the stressed out condition it is never going to nourish your body so always make sure whenever you are taking your food you are taking it with a pleasant mind so when you take the food with a pleasant mind then only it is nourishing your body okay it is not only this it is actually a broad concept but for you i have told in a few short words okay so let's always be beware of our food pattern that is one of the main thing then many of us used to tell i need macronutrients i need macronutrients so do you believe that the food you are taking is not containing macro or micronutrients so whatever food you are taking definitely it is containing all the macro and the micronutrients so when your body is weak let me tell you what you have to do try to take food in the most lighter or the simpler form so what are the simpler forms of the food it can be in the form of any rice porridge or kichdi etc okay along with that you can add vegetables as your curries okay so never go with the non veg food items for the first 2 to 3 weeks because your body is not capable of digestion and always make sure you are including sufficient vitamin minerals and protein in your diet okay so this is the way first your approach have to be to the food and drink enough water nowadays it is very bad thing to tell many of us are not drinking enough water so if you are not drinking enough water what is happening definitely most of us you will be suffering from hair loss one of the main reason increased body heat and infections actually so make sure you are drinking proper water also you are including proper water in your diet so if you want to go with the fish items why you want to go with the fish item there are vegetarian people and non vegetarian people non vegetarian people definitely their source of omega 3 fatty acids is from the fish only so you can go with a few fishes in the variety of this sardine and mackerel etc okay so these can be used in the curry form i will never recommend you to use it in the fried form because if you are using in the fried form you are not going to get any nutrition you are not going to get any vitamins any protein etc so always try to use in the curry form so it can be much more helpful and regarding the cooking oil so some of them are staple with the coconut oil some of them have the staple oil as a mustard oil but today according to the new Uh, era what we can do is that let's use mix oils that is what i will be suggesting you but always use the cold pressed you oil why to go with the cold pressed oil yeah definitely there are many vitamins and mineral content in your oil but if you are using the cold pressed oil that is that which is not processed with heat other than the refined oil or chemicals then only you will be getting this all the vitamin or mineral value so always go with the cold pressed oil that you can use in the form of olive oil coconut oil sesame oil okay with the sesame oil also if you are preparing any food items it will ensure you are definitely getting a good bone health etc so regarding the cooking oils this is what you have to take care and regarding the vegetables so regarding the vegetable first main thing what i have to tell is try to include beans in your diet so this beans it reduces the inflammation it reduces the crp value okay so you can use it in the cooked form and so which all beans you will be you can use actually long beans you can use okay then free radicals it is also help to reducing the free radical and it is containing vitamin c vitamin b vitamin k so it is very good option and 
Next, what you can use? Next variety, what you have to include? If you are having uric acid, try to include cherries in your diet. At least 10 to 15 cherries in your diet. And drink more water. Because the people with the uric acid, they will be obsessed with the non-veg and the fried food items. If you are not cutting this non-veg and fried food items, definitely it is going to backfire to your health. And next main thing is the broccoli. So why broccoli? Because broccoli, it is also, it is reduces the oxidative stress inside your body. And it reduces the CRP value in your body. And it, what it can do? Actually, it is a very good combination. It's a very good combination that it is containing vitamin B, vitamin C, vitamin K, iron, zinc and magnesium in traces. So definitely try to include broccoli in your diet. And according to Ayurveda, so what you have to include? What are spices you have to include in your diet? Definitely you have to include ginger in your diet. So when you are including the ginger, always try to include dry ginger also in your diet because it helps in the digestion and absorption of the food items. And what all food you have to avoid? These are a very few food items which I have told you. And let me tell you, you can include green gram in your diet. Pulses always use in the soup form, not in the salad form. Why not in the salad form means salads is not easily digested by our gut as we go on because our basal metabolic rate is decreasing. And some of the persons used to tell, as soon as I take the pulses, doctor, you don't know, I used to suffer from blotting issues, gas issues, distension of the abdomen, etc. So if you're taking in this cooked form, definitely you are not going to develop these issues, cooked or in the soap form. So you must try to use in that form. So what all, and next main thing is try to include the green gram in your diet. And in regarding the fruit items, what I'll be suggesting is always safe option is a pomegranate. Okay. So these much food items is you have to use in the first and the second stage. Okay. And now let's go to the list of the food items. What do you have to avoid? So always let's keep a distance from non-veg items, processed food items. So those non-veg processed food items, fast food or bakery items or artificial sweet corn, what they are doing, they are again hampering our body. They are again creating inflammation inside our body. So let's try to stay away from them and let's try to avoid milk also. So most of you guys will be thinking why to avoid milk in the diet? Milk is also not digested easily by our gut in the first and the second stages. So avoid milk, avoid curd. Instead of that what you can use? Instead of that you can use a good probiotic and a good calcium supplying buttermilk to your diet. So. This are not only these items, you have to avoid this grilled chicken and the grilled fish. So, fried items are not doing any good to your body. I can tell it is not containing any sufficient nutrition, not containing protein. What all vitamin? We are taking food for what purpose? It have to provide us nutrition, vitamin and mineral, right? But what is happening with this burned food items? Burned food items, it is similar to the carcinogenic product. Yeah, it is containing many carcinogenic products also. So what are the carcinogenic products it is containing? It is containing HCA, PAH items, etc. So never go with the fried, deep fried, charred food items. It is actually hampering your gut health. It is again creating wastes inside your body. And advanced glycolated end product, it is also increasing joint pain and inflammation. Hoping that these tips are helpful for you. Have a great day.